Oh, hey there, Vogue. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm gonna bang straight into the skin repair routine. I should not be drinking this. Coffee does not agree with me, but I don't have the suction cup for the mirror, so we're on a little tripod here. And there's lots of mirrors in the background. So if you see something that's weird, like this side profile, no, you didn't. At the moment, I am working with two cleansers. They are literally so cheap as well. So this one is like pretty much every day. This is the one I use most. To preface this, I have extremely dry skin, like really dry skin. I have been using this for about a year now, so I am happy with it and it's so cheap. I feel like this cleanser is so good because it doesn't make my skin feel tight at the end. When I was younger, I thought you needed to feel that tight feeling when you'd wash your face, but that is actually the last thing you need. Not sure if anybody watches Skincare by Hiram. He always says to wash your face for at least 30 seconds so that all the chemicals and the stuff that the dermatologist put in has time to actually work on your face. Okay, so my face is washed now. The water is still on it. I haven't dried my face yet. So what I do is I only dry specific parts of my face. Again, I have very dry skin. I get one of these and I just dry my nose. Wow, this camera is quite HD, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of water there. Oh, so you're HD on the marks of my face, but you're not HD on the water? Fine. There's five steps to my skin repair routine. So we have cleanser, number one. Number two, hydrate. Hydrate. So what I use, the ordinary, the hyaluronic acid. You get your few drops. I don't mix this too much because it can sometimes get soapy. And then I just pat it in. I hope I'm not talking out my bum with this information I have, but I have watched a lot and read a lot on skincare. So hyaluronic acid is works as this barrier. So when I have the water on top of my skin, I put the hyaluronic acid and it, it keeps that hydration in and then I'm going to put moisturizer on eventually and that's going to keep... It's going to keep it connected into the skin too. Wow, that took me a second. Okay, step number three, I am doing an exfoliant. I use Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It's a salicylic acid and you just put it on your skin. Basically, this is a chemical exfoliant. Why am I talking like stuff? I really know what I'm talking about. Chemical exfoliants are taking off that layer of skin without like dragging it. So it's, it's, good. it's good for you. So step number four, let's move quickly, is um, moisturizer. Moisturizer is my best friend. Definitely coming on a desert island with me. Three things to a desert island, three different types of moisturizer. I stand by that. I use this a lot, so it's um, the 100% plantarized squalene or whatever from Ordinary. These are so cheap, but they're actually really good. I just take a little, like, two or three drops, and I mix that in with a moisturizer and put that on my skin. So in the evening time, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. It's so good. You just take a tiny little bit, mix it in your hands and put it on your face, but it is the morning. So what I'm using at the moment, but I'm not obsessed with it to be honest, but what I'm using at the moment is this turmeric, 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 the Inky List moisturizer. It's fine. It, it's fine. And then last step, number five, SPF. I never would have used it before. Oh, can you please not get the side profile? Thank you. I never would have used sunscreen before because I'm like, I want a tan face, I don't care. But then you're like, I don't want to have to get Botox. So, sunscreen. I use it every day now. Every day, like every day. But this one's really good, so it's super good. And it's the glow screen. I put on like two little pumps. A lot of the time I would just wear this and it fe you feel like you have a tint moisturizer on or something. Cause look at the glow it gives you. It's nice, I actually really recommend that one. And that's the skincare. So if you're having a no makeup day, you're done. You're done. But we're not having a no makeup day today, so let's go on to the makeup. I have this new foundation. I got the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I went to the NARS stand in Brown Thomas and I was like looking at it and I was like thinking about it. And she was like, here's a tester, think about it and come back to me. And within like a day, I was like, I want to get it straight away. And of course I left it a week, went back, completely out of stock, completely out of stock in Brown Thomas, Arnett's online, everything. So I'm still using my tester. So it's very light, but it takes away a little bit of that redness. Dry 
rubbing it ever so slightly down the neck. So this is shade Alaska. Getting a foundation to match, I find is so difficult because everyone wants to be that little bit tanner. So you get one that's a little bit yellow, maybe a little bit darker, and then you put it on and then your neck is white, white slash blue. And then you drag it down and you'd like have everything match. And then you have this basically a big layer of makeup on your neck and you put on any sort of a top with a collar and your top joins in on the fun and becomes orange as well. I do find it a nightmare. So next I do is a beauty blender. I find the beauty blender just makes it look way more natural and I do enjoy the natural look. We're staying on the skin and next step is we're using cream products. So I have cream, highlighter, cream, blush, and I have a slightly cream contour stick. So they're, they're the next steps. So this Fenty Beauty, it's in amber. I actually have the shakes from the coffee. Oh my God. It's like a gray color, which is essential. Bronzers are amazing, but for contour, you need like gray look. So it really looks like a shadow because if there's that shadow on my face there, that's gray. Yeah. Line, I don't drag, I just tap. Put some up my forehead too, just to make it that bit thinner. Okay, we're not really doing everyday makeup, but we're doing nice makeup. Swiping upwards, if anything. Blending it into that hairline. Okay, I know people do highlighter at the end, but this is cream, so I just do it right now. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand Light. Booty in spotlight. Please don't be disgusted by the fact that I use this brush for pretty much everything. I just like that it's already wet. It's already moist. Like it has the foundation there, it has the, all the other bits and it's all blending. I know I'm wrong, but that's just what I do. Okay, we've got the Cloud Paint Glacier Puff. Not my favorite color, but I have the product and I'm gonna use it up. Sometimes I gravitate towards putting a darker pink kind of lipstick on my cheeks. So this is what I mean by lipstick. It'd be like this color. Let me just do the Kylie Jenner swatch. If I was doing heavier makeup, I'd put that on my cheeks as well. Okay, we're changing brush. Next step is bronzer. Using this one for a long time. Kula Benefit. So we're doing along the forehead. Do you ever find with your makeup routine, you can just change something you do for a while. Like for a while there, I was like, I'm feeling mascara. I just went off doing mascara. I didn't like the look of it. I liked the normal mascara look, but everything else was fully on. But now we're back in mascara again. So basically we're doing this area. And then a lot of people do the three, but I don't like a lot of bronzer along here. Maybe it would give me a jawline if I did that, but I feel like it just puts focus onto an area. That's not my spot. My mom always says, my mom is a Mua, by the way, a makeup artist. And she says, always accentuate your good areas. So get no attention. They get no attention because they are not the asset here. We're not focusing on that. So with jawline, I personally don't even go all the way out again. If I did, I'd probably have a jawline. I just go underneath the chin love overlapping products like i love a makeup bag to have the least amount of products as possible but you have the full look there so that's how the lipstick started getting on the cheeks the lipstick can get on the eyelids as well we love overusing multi-use of a product so then that's where we also get the bronzer as an eyeshadow as well i also just like the idea that it's the same color across the face just like that it's not a different brown here and here Okay, so I was talking there, but basically just focusing on the outer corner, but really just blending it everywhere because with an everyday look, I just like to have the color there. It doesn't need to define or accentuate anything. Okay, just before I go on to the eyebrows, I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip balm. So this is Glossier Birthday Balm. I love the smell. It smells like a birthday cake and it has a little shine. Now we're going on to the eyebrows. I've had this pomade of Anastasia Beverly Hills since TY, transition year. So I was 16, I am, I'm 26. I've had this for 10 years. There's no best before date. I mean, I don't know. 
but my point is it's really good and lasts a really long time. I use this every second day, we'll say, every second day for 10 years. My eyebrow routine does change a lot because sometimes I like the fluffy brows, sometimes I like the sleek brows, sometimes I like very little in the brows. So put like a line basically underneath, over it, and then really brush it out, and then that's it at the moment. If the brows are really unruly and I haven't had time to cut them, because I need to cut them. I have my father's eyebrows and my father's eyebrows are like really long. Like his eyebrow hair would sometimes curl. It's so long. My hairs are fine there. They're not that unruly, so I won't be using this, but this is Glossier Boy Brow. It's a clear mascara, and it really keeps them in place. Actually, I'll put it on. I'll put it on just to show you, right? So we're just going along the line that's there. We're going along what's there, and we're going down ever so slightly. I find eyebrows are easiest to deal with backlight, so instead of facing the sunlight, like, literally having yeah, your back to the sun. For some reason, you can just see your eyebrow perfectly. Actually, I'm gonna do it over here. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. I use the spoolie and literally brush it everywhere so it's really light, because I don't personally like how dark that is right now. I would've loved it a few years ago, but not right now. Just to show you the boy brow, it really keeps your eyebrows in place. So if you have very thin eyebrows, and very little hair, you might not be bothered with this step. I don't care if it's old school. I like this mascara. I think it's OG material. Ran out and then I've got this mascara, which is so bad. It's so bad. Do not get it. The brush is bad, the product's bad, but I'm not one to waste. So I use the brush of my old one and just take a little bit of that product. And then when you get to the inside here, Instead of brushing all your eyelashes to the side for that cat look, you brush them up or whatever, and then you brush them in like this. I'll show you, it's actually really hard to do it in the, in the camera. And you focus in dragging them towards this part of your eyebrow, because it will literally frame the entire lid. See, I hate this mascara. It's all clumpy. I literally hate it so much. I don't do mascara on my bottom lashes because I literally look like tarantula and then I'll get the black ring underneath my eye. So we are avoiding that. Okay, so I've recently stopped putting drawing freckles on my face. So I have this blonde eyeliner pen. I mean, any kind of a pen. And then I just press it on. A few along the face here. Oh, we might as well put a freckle on that spot. I don't like doing nose contour because I just haven't mastered it, to be honest. So I often just use the freckle pen in along a line here, just to give it some kind of a contour without doing that. Does that make sense? So I don't put freckles along the middle. I put them all here because it would trick your mind into being a contour. Does that make sense? So cute. Beauty blender again and just slightly press. They fade in quite quickly. Now I don't overline because I'm not good at it and whenever I do overline, it just looks like a line of chocolate milk. Looks like I just was overzealous for the chocolate milk. Why am I taking more sips of the coffee? I use this brown eyeliner. Yeah, we, I told you, don't just use a product for one use. So this is the Costa Reach MAC eye pencil. So it's a nice brown color and it is really nice just on the corners of the eyes, but I don't do that at the moment, but it is really nice. I won't put any lip liner here. I'll just do an outline on either side of that. this whole time. I just always have one. Okay, and for blending purposes, I use this Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just basically gonna blend using this. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and that wasn't a total waste of time for you. Mucho gracias, mucho love, mucho, mucho. <laughs>